When we're RVing, there's lots of options to stay at different types of campgrounds in terms of boondocking, national parks, but state parks are some of the ones that we like the most, and we've stayed at quite a few of them. So today we wanted to talk through 10 state parks that we've stayed at that we recommend you check out as well. So starting with number 10, we stayed in Missouri at Table Rock State Park. We did stay there in the spring, which I think played into why we did love it so much. I think in the summer it'd be great too, but there would be different reasons to love it. It seemed like there were a lot of boats available and all that for the summer. But in the spring, it was gorgeous. It was very green and we stayed right off of, so there's a lake, there's a path right by the lake and then right above that is where our campsite was. So it was just super easy access to a lot of great trails. Again, there's one right by the lake, but then there were some deeper in the forest. So it was a really neat park that was right at the base of the Ozarks, so a ton to explore there. And this is one of the very first places we ever stayed, and so there was definitely that new honeymoon feeling to mm -hmm. what we were doing, but the state park itself was uh, beautiful and had a lot of opportunities to get out and enjoy nature. So we went straight from Table Rock State Park to Quartz Mountain State Park in Oklahoma, and that is our ninth recommendation. For some reason, the timing of when we were there, we were almost the only people, especially in the section of the campground that we were in, we were the only ones. We had this beautiful river behind us, a little bit of a mountain. There were so many uh, kind of nooks and crannies within the state park. This is one that we, we kept walking around being like, man, a little bit of investment could make this like just totally next level, de like tourist destination. But where it's at right now is really peaceful and quiet and you can kind of enjoy it in a different way. Also some cute towns around that we uh, met some very nice people and had a great time. They were working on it though. We actually couldn't access the highest part of the park because they were totally revamping that space. So I think it'd be really interesting to go back now. It's been a couple years, so I think that's done to see. And it would be something that I'd be interested in doing because the hikes there were so unique. At number eight, we have Hawking Hills State Park. This is a state park in Southern Ohio, and it is very popular for Ohioans. I'm not sure if that's what it is, Ohioans. <laughs> Ohioans. It is now, but for the rest of even the Midwest, I had never heard of it, and it just has these huge boulders, these little places where you can kind of walk through, places where the water has run and had caves. Um, really, really neat paths, and I thought our, our campsite was also very spacious, and it was just a, a beautiful park, and I think it would be beautiful in the fall as well. Sticking in the Midwest, but going north to Ohio's main rival, this one is Muskegon State Park in Michigan. It's on the west side of the state on Lake Michigan, and there were a lot of activities to do here. There was, it, we went in the summer, but there is a luge and kind of full outdoor activity center. We got to go summer luging, which was a, an experience I did not know that I wanted to have. And uh, we got silver. We tied for silver, I think. Was, I believe we it got might medals. have been rigged, but hey, that's besides the point. There was the a child, we needed to be sensitive to that. <laughs> it was the fun that counted. <laughs> yeah. Also got to do some kayaking in the area, and it's nice because there is a town nearby that you can go in, do Main Street. There was a whole farmer's market going on while we were there, but the state park was, uh, in and of itself, a great destination. Yeah, lots of activities. There were like scavenger hunts where, with little signs of things that you could look for around the park. It also had a beachfront area that we didn't end up using, but that's kind of the beauty of some of these places. It's like, we want to go back because you can do the things you already did, but also there's just always more to do. Number six is Letchworth State Park. We loved this park. This park was super dog friendly for Chip. There is a beautiful path along the three main waterfalls that this park boasts. So I think a little bit mini Niagara, but a little more reserved as far as like the nature is preserved around it. There were several amenities at each section of the park. So there was a hotel, really cute boutique hotel that used to be the person who had donated the land's home. And then several options for restaurants at different you know, levels of casual to a little bit more fancy. So really a ton of activities to do. And for this one, if you are a photographer or videographer, the waterfalls are very accessible. You can get right up into them and 
a lot of opportunities for some really great photography. And I think when the temperature drops, we were there when it's a little bit warmer, they do hot air ballooning over it. Okay, I didn't know that. That sounds fun. Well, and just all the, <laughs> the pictures you could get from that, yeah. like gorgeous, yeah. Heading south is Natural Bridge State Resort Park. This is in the Red River Gorge area. So the state park is where our campsite was. Probably one of our favorite campsites in and of itself, right on a river in a little bit of a valley. And although it is a campground that has other people around, they're set up in a way that we still felt like we were on our own and being able to enjoy the area. And then the hikes, there were so many that you could drive to and uh, kind of get different experiences, but there is also a river that runs through it. The water was a little low to do some kayaking and other water things in the actual river, but we did get to go on a kayaking experience underground, which was a whole different thing. We'll make sure and link to all these videos in the description below so you can check out more on each one of these. But that was a very unique experience and one that we recommend you check out too. Yeah, another unique aspect of that park is it actually had a chairlift up to the main bridge, like the natural bridge. So that was fun and actually was way longer than I anticipated. It was like 20 minutes to a half hour for one way up. And I found that to be also like accessible for people who might not be able to do the entire hike because once you got up there, it was only maybe, you know, uh, 400 meters to the actual bridge and again you could walk like right across the bridge and then there were also places where you could stand to see the whole formation of the bridge. Now we're getting towards the top of the list and I know this is uh, one of your favorites ever. It's number four but one of your favorites for sure. So number four is Temperance River State Park. Now this is right off Lake Superior. This park was gorgeous. I had to cross a bridge across two huge waterfalls to go to the bathroom. If I have to do that every single time, I'm okay with it. But this park had huge trees, so where our camper was, it was just totally secluded, and we were off, a little bit off where ours was. There were some sites that were closer to the lake, but we just had to do a quick loop, and we were right off of Lake Superior where there were picnic tables, we had a fire there, and then super accessible to all these hikes and just waterfall after waterfall as the water that's coming to go into Lake Superior is there. Just absolutely gorgeous. I think I had one of the best sunrises of our camping experience there as well. And Minnesota along that North Shore has like a whole chain of state parks. And so this is the state park that we camped at, but there's a whole chain of them with different hikes, different waterfalls, different adventures all along there that were all within 20, 30, I think maybe the long, we, we did maybe do an hour long drive to one of them, but it's all along the North Shore of, uh, of Minnesota, state parks galore. Yeah, and then you could just drive inland a little bit to I think Superior National Forest and talk about the land of 10,000 lakes. I wish we would have had our kayaks at that point. Again, we're gonna go back because you just went off-roading and like lake after lake after lake with nobody there. It was so beautiful. All right, we're gonna make a hard left turn and go all the way out west. A, whole, a hard <laughs> west turn. A hard, a hard <laughs> west turn and go out to New Mexico. We stayed at Oliver Lee Memorial State Park and this is near White Sands National Park, but this is where RVs can camp and it's up in the foothills of a mountain range. And to me, this was a very unique site because of the way the campsites were actually set up. The, they were kind of all spaced out, but they had like different ledges that were kind of carved out and flattened. And then it, because it is the desert, everything was just a much different feel than a lot of the places that we've stayed, especially around the Midwest. And because it was elevated, you got this look out onto the valley and big mountains behind you. And so we had a gorgeous sunset. It got, again, photographers, mm -hmm. an amazing spot to be. Gonna get a lot of golden light hitting the mountain peaks and uh, being able to, again, look out on the valley. You can see the white sands way out in the distance, but then you're a short drive from it when you're ready to go explore the national park. Mm -hmm. Coming in at number two, sticking to the west, was Ridgeway State Park. This is in Colorado. It's in the San Juan Mountains. So this is near Telluride, Ure, that area. And it's nicknamed the Switzerland of like the US and it deserves that name. It's just this beautiful kind of mini when you think about the Rockies, like the huge range of the Rockies. 
this mini blip of beautiful huge mountains that are rocky in that like same sense um but just in this row and Ridgeway State Park has a lake and then just a view of these so so I know we mentioned a couple of sunsets and sunrises but this really was a beautiful sunset where we got golden hour on this mountain range just hues of pink and it was gorgeous and again all of the hikes right there along the ridge there were different levels so you can kind of go down by the lake you could go above um, I would have loved to spend much more time in that park and in that area. Drum roll, please! <laughs> and number one is Gulf State Park in Alabama. This just a exceeded, shocker! A ex shocker! Exceeded all expectations, <laughs> and to me was so peaceful and so such a great balance of investment and in infrastructure while also appreciating and retaining the natural beauty of an area. The boardwalks that were kind of up over a lot of the water, over the bayou or whatever it's called, mm -hmm. I don't even know, uh, were there for us to be able to use and enjoy, but because it was elevated, everything was still beautiful and pristine down below. Yeah, they had a huge area, a huge building right by the water. So that, you know, you could go to the sand and hang out by the water, but at that's where also you could go in. It had all of these, uh, solar panels so it was just being so sustainable and then that's where you could rent the bikes for free to go miles and miles on this boardwalk all throughout the park and then the food i know it's cheating a little bit but we did go out to eat we didn't go out like to, a I mean, seafood. On the state park. no right we went to the restaurant at the state park which the stanford volleyball team was there <laughs> yeah. as well like it was a thing and they had a, a musician playing a live musician and lights it was like so beautiful i know some people think that's yeah. cheating but the we had like a seafood mix i just there was no reason to leave I even had a swimming pool that was oh, yeah. directly across the totally parking forgot. lot from <laughs> from laundry so we went and put a load of laundry mm -hmm. in then went swimming then you go move the laundry then you go swimming so there are some slithery friends to be aware of but and and other friends see you later alligator <laughs> <laughs> But that definitely tops the list of state parks for us. Let us know, are there other state parks that we should be checking out? Because obviously we have more planning and traveling to do for the future and would love to hit up some of those state parks. But again, we'll link all of the videos in different state parks below so you can check those out. So be sure to hit subscribe to find out where in the world Carmen goes next.